Hey everyone, Emma Ansa here. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to talk about Pastor Gino Jennings, who is back after the Holy Convocation on the 31st. And he's going to address people who are accusing him of hiring actors when he casted the demons out of the two people that were at the church that came up for prayer. He's also going to talk about T.D. Jakes and a petition to have a meeting with him. He has accepted this meeting, so we hope that this will happen soon. He's also going to talk about little Nas X and him saying that he is now a Christian, yet his behavior is blasphemous. So Pastor Jennings will speak about all of this, and he will strike it out with Bible, which is what he is so good at doing, breaking down the scriptures for us so we understand. So let's listen to our leader, teacher, and guide, and we'll talk about it afterward. Mr. Nas is at it again. He said, Pastor Jennings, he heard your message, and now he's a Christian. He's no more a Christian than a duck can shoot dice. making mockery of the Messiah. Had him up on the cross, imitating the crucifix. Had him dressed like the pictures that claim Jesus looked this way. And while he was making the video, he was just eating all the bread and all the wine with his hair hanging down. If any man be in Christ, the word of God says he's a new creature. Right. Old things will pass away. It won't pass away overnight, but eventually old things right. are passed away. And behold, all things become new. Are you listening? Yeah. Now let me say this to my viewers. You know, uh, during the dedication service, and the many thousands that were here, and when a brother and sister came up for prayer, and who had the devil in them, my viewers couldn't wait to jump on it. Viewers, only thing you saw was what the cameras let you see. You didn't see when the cameras went off. That's why my haters posted quickly, Pastor Jennings failed to cast out the devil. Somebody said, I hired the man because I wanted the New Year's service to go out with a dramatic ending. <laughs> All this work we've done in here, we ain't gonna hire nobody to tear up these flowers, <laughs> grab microphones. I ain't gonna hire nobody to do that. Well, you saw when the cameras was on. You didn't hear the conversations when the cameras went off. You thought everything was over. But the brother and the sister gave us their testimony and they thanked God they was delivered, which is a blessing. Now, there was ignorant preachers says the moment you pray for someone that's possessed by the devil, the devil comes out right away. That's not at all times. Yes. Somebody says, well, Jesus cast them out. When Jesus spoke and said, come out, they came out right away. You overlooked something. No, they did not. No, they didn't. Hear me, hear me good. That's right. I say they did not come out even when Jesus was standing there. They didn't come out right away. That's right. Follow me, viewers. Let me educate you because the preachers, they don't know. St. Mark chapter 5, we're going to start at verse 1. Listen quick. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. Yes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately. Immediately. They met him out of the tombs, a man they with an unclean spirit. They met him a man with an unclean spirit. Clean spirit. That's right. Mm -hmm. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. Yes. And no man can bind him, no, not with chains. You know, when the devil gets you, I mean, really gets you. He make you stronger than what's around you. That's right. Chains couldn't bind him. That's right. 
Because that he had been feathers often, couldn't bind him. That's right. He wasn't no lightweight. Not this stuff you see on television, people head turning backward and spitting out green oatmeal. <laughs> Not that. That's right. Hear me good? Somebody said I should have used holy water. There ain't no such thing as holy water. No. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> if, <laughs> if water going to get rid of the devil, I'm turning a fire hose. That's right. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing worrying about sprinkling. Man, I'm going to unleash a whole fire hose on creation. That's right. Amen. Listen, good. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, no not man with chains. No man could bind him. What? No, not with chains. Not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. They tried it already. And the chains. The word of God say he'd been often bound. Often bound. That lets you know they tried it. Right. All right. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. Yes. And the fetters broken in pieces. Uh -huh. Neither could any man tame him. Neither hmm. could any man tame him. Right. Neither could any man control him. Right. Neither can any man constrain him. That's right. Can you imagine that? Amen. Amen. Nobody can contain them, control them. That's right. Brother, I tell you, when the devil get in you real good, he's in there. When he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And what did he say? And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? What have I to do with thee? Jesus, Jesus thou, thou son of the most son high of the God, most high God, I adjure thee by God that thou what? torment me not. Don't bother me. For he said unto him, Now listen. Here is the devil talking out this man. That's right. And plainly said, what? What have I to do with thee, what Jesus? What do I have to do with thee, Jesus? Thou son of the most high God. Son of the most high God. I adjure thee by God. I adjure you by God. That thou torment Don't me not. Don't torment me. Don't bother me. Now, this is the spirit talking to Jesus. That's right. What was Jesus' response? For he said unto him, come out of the man. Come out of that man. Thou unclean spirit. Your unclean spirit, come out. Let's see that the unclean spirit come out right away. And he asked him, what is thy name? He, he went on talking. That's right. Jesus went on to ask him, what's your name? And he answered saying, my name is Legion. If the spirit would have came out, how could he answer him? That's right. That's right. You see, I, I believe in detailing the Bible. Amen. Didn't come out right away. No. The spirit in the man and Jesus start having dialogue. That's right. Start getting into a conversation. That's right. Listen. For he said Now okay. the spirit of the devil is the spirit of rebellion. Right. Hardheadness. Resistance. That's yeah. right. So it didn't matter to the devil because Jesus said, come, come out, out of him. The That's devil right. wanted to stay there. That's right. And wanted to engage Jesus in talk. That's right. Listen at this. For he said unto him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Jesus said to him, come out of the man, thou unclean thou spirit. Thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, what is thy name? Now Jesus started talking to him. That's right. What's your name? And he answered saying, my name is Legion. My name is Legion. For we are There's many. a whole lot of us in here. And he besought him much. He besought him much. That he would not send them away out of the country. You hear that? <laughs> That's right. He ain't wanted to come out. No. I don't want to leave the country. That's right. I know you're here to get me out, but uh, I don't want you to send me out so far. <laughs> That's right. I don't want that. Do you hear what his request was? And he besought him much that he, he would not send them away. Him much that he would not send him away out of the country. Don't get rid of me. That's don't right. cast me out so far. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. And remember. Jesus already told him, come out. Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. But there is no Bible that says he came out right then. That's right. That's right. They start exchanging words. Amen. 
My God, I had to fight. Don't you know the Bible says we wrestle not? After you finish that, I want to get that. Yes. And this is the wrestling match between wrestling match. good and evil. That's right. And this is what people don't understand. That's right. Listen at this. And he asked them, what is thy name? And he answered saying, my name, my is, name Legion, is Legion, for we are many. For there's a whole lot of us. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. All the devils besought him. All the devils besought, besought, him. besought Jesus. They still wasn't gone yet. That's right. Still not gone yet. That's right. They besought him. Saying, send us into the swine. Hey, we don't want to leave the country. Amen. So uh, send us. Into the swine. Into the swine. That we may enter into them. And then what? And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. Now, Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And what? And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. Yes. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. The devil don't always come out right away like it didn't do when Jesus was talking. That's right. Because the Bible says this. In Ephesians chapter 6 and at verse 11. Follow me. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor. The whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand. That you may be able to stand. Against the wiles of the devil. Against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not. Hear this. We wrestle not. Amen. We're not wrestling against, against, flesh, against and blood, flesh and blood, but against principalities. What? But against principalities. But against principalities against and powers. Powers. Against the rulers against of the darkness the of this world. Against the rulers of darkness of this world. Against, what is it? Against spiritual wickedness. In high against days. what? Against spiritual wickedness. Spiritual. Spiritual wickedness. Authority. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. That's what we're God. wrestling against. That's right. So a lot of times you're praying for someone that's filled with the devil, and that devil don't come out right away. Man become a wrestling match. Wrestling. That's right. That's One right. fighting against the other. That's right. Because he don't want to come out and you want him to come out. Amen. Because you're dealing with the spirit of rebellion, the spirit of stubbornness. That's right. Now let's go to heaven and see did he come out right away then. Now in the book of Revelation chapter 12 and we're at verse 7. You know all the information is in the book. Oh yes. Every drop of information is in the book. That's right. Amen. All right, hear this. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7. All right. And there was war in heaven. What? And there was war in heaven. Satan is a warrior. Amen. War. That's why so many of God's people is having trouble with them. That's right. Some things they've been battling and fighting about within themselves. Oh, yes. Two, three, and four, and five years, and still talking to God for deliverance. Thank God it seems like nothing is happening. Nothing is going to happen. That's but right. the Bible says he that come to God must believe. That's right. That he is, hallelujah. Every water to them that diligently diligent. seek him. You have to be diligent in seeking God. That's right. Hear this. And there was war in heaven. War in heaven. Michael and his angels Michael fought against the dragon. Fought. Fought. I fought. never heard of a one second war. No way. No, no. Ain't no such thing as a one second, a five minute war. <laughs> no, no. There was war in heaven. Michael and his Micah, angels the fought Ark against the dragon. And his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought. And the dragon fought back. And his angels. That's right. The dragon fought. He's not a spirit that just lay down without a fight. He's oh. a fighter. That's right. Or oh, that God ain't God church have to fight as well. That's right. And the dragon fought. The dragon fought. And his angels. Glory to God and his angels. And prevailed not. He didn't win. Neither was their place. Doesn't out. matter how long that fight was. That's right. The prevailed bottom not. line was he didn't win. That's right. So it doesn't matter how much prayer you got to give, how long the prayer have to be. The thing that I want, I want that devil to lose the fight. That's it. Eh? That's right. I want to straighten out my mockers. <laughs> that's right. Who thought they had some joy. And that's one thing about the enemies of the truth. Any slight thing that they think they can get joy out of, they're going to jump on it. Well, I want to pull your little joy rug from under you. 
That's right. And let you know you all just lied. <laughs> Amen. Because if the ones that were possessed by the devil testify that they delivered, that's all I want. That's it. That's what satisfied me. That's and Hollywood is making mockery. Making mockery. Of God's word. Oh, yes. Somebody wrote me in and asked me to look at a clip they sent me. Yeah, I get people send me books, <laughs> want me to read to give their approval. People send me all type of text messages. Folks, I don't even recognize the number. Send me uh, movies that Jay-Z is supposed to put out. Yeah. Mocking Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. I believe it's called the book of, uh, the book of Clarence. There ain't no such scriptures called the book of Clarence. My Lord, my Lord. There ain't no better than the Book of Mormons. <laughs> That's right. That's Someone right. said it's just a movie. Give me uh, Revelation 22, 16 quickly. Revelation 22 and Give verse Give me Revelation 16. 22, 16. Let's see what the God warned us not to do. I, Jesus, have sent my angel. I testify. I testify unto every man. To every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy This is Revelation this 22, 18 here. For I testify unto every man. The apostle. That's right. Want to give us a testimony to everybody. That heareth the words that of the prophecy the of this book. That the words of this book. If any man shall add unto what? these. What? If any man shall add unto these You're things. You're out there trying to make mockery of Moses. Trying to make mockery of the prophets. Trying to make mockery of the Messiah. That's right. Trying to make mockery of God. If any man shall add unto these things. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. How they make a mockery of God. Anything to make money. That's right. Anything. God, people should not be sitting watching some so-called religious movie nowhere. Amen. Amen. That's not Moses. That's right. That's not Abraham. Amen. That's not Isaac. Right. Who said God had an, an Australian accent. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Who said Jesus talked like he was from North Philly? Amen. Amen. Who said Abraham spoke like he was from Great Britain? What's the matter with you people? That's right. How did you get so wicked Wh and so weak? Amen. And so far from God? That's right. Until now you don't care don't what care. society is doing. They're That's making mockery. That's right. And getting richer and richer while they're making mockery of God and some of the, of the producers and writers and actors of all nationality under the sun. Amen. Amen. Hear me good. That's right. Someone say, well, I can win people to Christ by putting on the act. If you want to win people to Christ, do it the way the apostles done it. That's right. The apostles didn't have to pretend. They just preached the word. Preach the word. Yeah. That's what they did. That's right. Jesus said, I'm making fishes of men. That's right. All you got to do is preach, preach the, the word. word and God will do the rest. That's right. And I often think moreover when that cross dresser Tyler Perry went off into some fake tongue. Amen. Casper the ghost couldn't do better. <laughs> Amen. Right. That Looney Tune spirit. <laughs> uh, uh, now, this is how backward it is. Amen. It ain't no lay member in here have the right or the authority to lay hands on me. No, no. No. No lay member. No. That's backwards. That's backwards. No lay member should be laying hands on the bishop. No way. The bishop's supposed to be laying hands on the lay member. That's right. And that cross dresser laid hands on him and he got that million dollar ghost and then while he's <laughs> up there shaking some old foolish woman some woman walking by screaming in the microphone, push the baby out. My Lord, my that? Lord, what was that? Push the baby out. What well, that? I know T.D. Jakes is big, but I know the man was pregnant. Amen. She was yelling, push the baby out. My Lord. Push the baby out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no baby in there. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. You religious fakers. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. Amen. We're going to blast it to hell. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Everybody in the world. Everybody. Come on back to scripture here. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Come on back.
You Everybody. got away from God's word. Come on back. That's right. Glory to God ever so often, whenever there's a car dealer and they put out a new car, hey amen, they have to make a recall. Oh, yes. They get the bugs out. That's right. Thank God I'm making a recall on religion. Oh, yes. Because it's full of bugs. Bugs. Hey amen, all type of lies got in there. Oh, yeah. That got the pulpit and the followers all jumping to it and nobody searched the scriptures to find out if what he believed or what he said That's is right. even true. That's right. Prep in in. unaware. Unaware. Who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. I want you viewers to get this, and Amen. you that are here. Amen. Certain men. Certain men crept in unawares. And they spilt out of so-called Bible college. Mm. And infiltrated churches. That's right. By the millions. That's right. Not called of God. Get me good. <laughs> Not sent of God. Get me good. That's but right. they got their diploma from some college, some and school. they say that's how they become a preacher. You right. know preacher? No. All of you that are listening to my big mouth. That's right. School don't make preachers. No, no. Being a preacher is a divine act of God. That's right. And you're not preaching unless you preach the word. Preach the word. My God, man, you're not preaching unless you preach God's word. That's it. Amen. Never mind preaching homiletics and theology and philosophy. Oh, no. no Amen. No. The Bible said that uh, you are purified through seeing you have purified your souls you know, and obeying the truth. And Jesus said you're clean through the word, the word that I speak unto you. So you got to stay in the word and follow the word. And the book of scriptures must be used. That's right. First and foremost, foremost in the face of the church. That's right. That's why you would never see me with a sermon already written out. No. Never. Never. Never already written out. It's already written. That's right. Huh? That's right. The moment you put the Bible under your arm, that's the message. That's the message. I got a television interview coming up this week. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And I know what he want to talk about. I know he want me to talk about T.D. Snakes, <laughs> but it's more going on in the world than that. That's right. Huh? That's right. Only thing I can do is uh, testify to what I see. I speak that which I what know. You, what you see. Okay, man, and I testify to what I see. What you see. All, the, all that other stuff that he's accused of, I don't know nothing about. Right. I, I don't know whether he was doing the sloppy toppy. That's right. I don't know that. You don't know that. I don't know nothing about <laughs> I don't know that. That's right. I don't know. <laughs> Amen. I don't know who he was playing house with. That's, I don't know. That's right. I don't know none of that. Right. But one thing I do know, I do know <laughs> that's right. that he was at Diddy's party mm -hmm. because he was dumb enough. They videotaped him, videotaped him. with short songs, right. dancing, and his family dancing. That's right. He took a picture with Diddy. Diddy laid his, hand, his head on him. My Lord. He did a sign language with Diddy. My Lord. He sat there at the table with a champagne glass there. Mm. So all I can do is speak what I know. What you know. All that other stuff. I heard he, he said that he's 68 years old. He's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. Am I right, man? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. <take> <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Go ahead, thank God. Jakes, I want you to hear this. Amen. That's just a bold faced lie. That's right. Because 68, you're young. That's and right. And that's not too old to be a freak. No. Anytime in the Bible, that's right. they are making babies at 300, yeah. 400, 500. 600. That's right. 700. And they're making babies. Making babies. Man, 68 years old. You ain't nothing but a baby compared to them in the Bible. That's right. So you're not too old. No. To be a freak. No, no. No way. I said lie out of hell. That's right. Am I right, folk? Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. 
68 years old, you too old, man. That's one of the biggest lies among your other lies. Among other lies. You hear me good? I'm going to make it so plain, you have to get angry. That's right. That's right. Like I said to the church the other day, that the Black Caucus of Ministers wrote me three letters. They mm. wanted to make sure I get it, so they sent three big letters to the church with about three or four pages of a petition signed mm. by so many preachers in the country mm -hmm. to mediate, to have a meeting. Want to mediate between me and Jake the Snake. <laughs> I started to tear the letters up, mm -hmm. but I said, no. <laughs> now I'm going to use this time. If they're serious about coming to the table, right. I'm going to use this time, bring our ministers, some of our brothers, and we're going to strike this out with scripture. That's right. That's, that's, that's what we want to do. That's right. We want to strike this out with scripture. Amen. Prove the fact Prove it. that the church can coexist mm -hmm. with homosexuality. Right. Prove it. Prove it. Prove the fact that a man of God is evolving towards what? homosexuality. My Lord, my Lord. He said. Some churches have their theory, uh, others have their theory. He said, I'm evolving. I'm not. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Until God evolved, ain't never evolved. That's right. I say, yeah, call them. Mm -hmm. let's, let's come to the table. Let's, let's strike this out with Bible. That's right. I mean, if the black caucus get wrong, then I'll get a hold of them with the Bible. That's right. I don't care who you are. Pastor Amen. Jennings don't care what degrees you hold. I don't care what college you went to. That's right. I don't care how popular you are. That's right. Anybody from the Black Caucus side with homosexuality, I take God's word and beat you asunder like anybody else. That's right. Well, that sums it up, doesn't it? Lil Nas X, that's blasphemous behavior. We're going to see a showdown with Pastor T.D. Jakes if he accepts it. And... There was a conversation after those people were delivered from the devil. And so we will continue to pray for Pastor Jennings so that he continues to stay strong and continue these wonderful teachings of unadulterated gospel. Let me know what you all think and see you next time.